When we talk about innovation, it's always quite interesting to talk about how novel is novel. So that's another way to talk about different types of innovation. And this is where we roughly defy, uh, divide between, the inc between incremental innovation on one side and radical innovation on the other side. So incremental innovation is about doing what you are already doing, but a little bit better. So producing similar type of products with a little bit of a different functionality. Radical innovation is, of course, much more challenging. This is where the companies are trying to introduce totally different pro product concept and something that doesn't really happen very often. In, product, uh, in a radical innovation, companies or individuals that are involved in innovation process certainly uh, experiment with the technology, with a solution they are not very familiar with and they often go uh, outside their comfort zone. In innovation, we also often use the concept of disruptive innovation. This is the innovation which usually develop somewhere in, in, in a new market and potentially can disrupt and affect the established, established technology with, with uh, severe consequences for a company that doesn't innovate. But it's very exciting with innovation that, of course, innovation is a very dynamic process. And we, uh, we discuss different types of innovation. And in this process, these types of innovation usually come out at different stages in the process. Uh, the dynamics of the process can be described as, as, as an S-curve. An S-curve starts with a, with a fluid phase. In the fluid phase, uh, we usually have a lot of new product innovation, a lot, maybe a lot of uh, new business model innovation, and, and this innovation is at this phase characterized with uh, a, a high degree of technological uncertainty because technology might not be that clear or also market uncertainty because it might not be clear who is going to buy uh, this product, whether market, is, whether market is right. At this stage, usually we don't necessarily see so much, so much process innovation. The companies will very often, very often experiment in some market niches and we discussed before uh, disruptive innovation and this is where the disruptive innovation starts with these fluid phases. Now when the product is already in the market, uh, when the customers are already providing, providing the feedback and where the competitors usually come with a, with, with a similar, similar product, then the dynamics uh, definitely changes and this is called transitional phase. Uh, this is the phase where companies then learn much more about the market, they learn much more about the, uh, the, the product, the technologies. So the product becomes much more standardized. We see the emergence of so-called dominant design. The last phase of innovation curve is a specific phase. Uh, so that's the phase where the product uh, or a service uh, come to, the, to maturity. Uh, but this is not to say that there is no innovation involved. Uh, a lot of incremental innovation happens in this phase because the companies try to sustain the product or service, service in the market. At that stage, the companies are really uh, also involved in a, in, a, in a process innovation because they try to reduce the cost, uh, cost of the product so the product can stay on the market for, for longer. Uh, these S-curves are also very useful to demonstrate uh, where the radical innovation happens or where discontinuous innovation happens. We can see that uh, innovation uh, develops within these S-curves and there is a lot of incremental innovation. But what is really interesting when the one S-curve is replaced by another one. And, and this is where we see in these red circles. These red circles are really big innovation challenge. This is where the new discontinuous technologies are coming in. This is where the radical technologies are coming in. And this is where there are huge uh, opportunities for, uh, for new entrants or for entrepreneurial companies to change the, the dynamics of, of competition. Uh, these changes can be competence destroying, so uh, as we discussed in the disruptive technology context, so the new, uh, uh, new technology can disrupt the technology of the incumbent firm, or it can be competence enhancing, so in this case usually the established companies introduce the discontinuous innovation, but this discontinuous innovation builds on the previous technology.